Hello and welcome to lesson 55 in the creation of our school management system using Microsoft Excel and VBA with the GeForce IT Service Academy. In lesson 54, we started dissecting the various formulas that can help us to fetch the data, the fees payment data of our students from the fees payment database system onto the official fees payment receipt. So in this lesson, we are going to do some basic settings on this particular fees payment receipt so that when a student completes his or her payment, we will see something. Something will show that that particular student is through with his or her payment. So if you are new to the channel, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell icon for all so that when we upload a new video, you'll be able to get a notification and watch that particular video as well so without wasting much time let's begin to do some basic settings on this particular fees payment receipt but before we do that let's quickly go to the fees payment database table let's search for the fees payment database table here so we have the fees payment database table so let's enter some random name so Kofi Kofi A A like this. The gender, let's take it like the gender is male. Then the date, let's enter some random dates like this. One one November two zero zero four like that. So let's just duplicate that in for these people here good so we have that one up and running let's come to the gender here the gender to let's do something about the gender so let's see how best we can do that okay let's maintain it so koku okay, so control s to save your work you click on okay then let's go to the official fees payment receipt again then we can do our settings now so fees payment receipt we have it here good now let's search for another student number two let's search for number two here click on the search uh, button there so you can see student number two the student with the admission number two is appearing here the details are all appearing here so you can see the status of that particular student that the student is yet to pay his or her school fees or tuition fee or whatever so let's search for number three another student number three click on search we should be able to see student number three here we should be able to see student number three here and this student is also uh, going to pay his or her fees this student is now going to pay his or her fees let's search for student number four student number four click on search so student number four is also not done with his or her payment okay so is he let's see the gender here is he <laughs> okay so we are going to do some basic settings here we are going to use conditional formatting again so let's go back to student number one then let's come to the bottom here let's click on the completed after you are done with that one let's come to home then let's come to conditional formatting click on it then select highlight cell rules then you come to equal to select it so we want this particular uh, status here to have a particular color when a student is done with his or her payment and at the same time we want this particular status to have a particular color when a student is yet to pay his or her tuition fee or school fees or whatever so what do we want to see here we have completed so we are going to repeat the same thing here so completed like this here so which color do we want to give to this particular completed which color do we want to give to it if a student is done with his or her payment so let's check something here light red fill 
let's check something here light red fill with dark red test okay so this is how it will appear when a student is done with his or her fees or when a student is done with paying his or her fees okay so let's select the second student click on search here have you seen that this one is unpaid but there is no color attached to that one there is no conditional formatting so what we are going to do is that we are going to student number one again student number one let's set for student number one again then we click on the same completed then we click on home then we come to conditional formatting here highlight cell rules then we come to equal to then this one we want it to appear differently we want to give it a different color when a student is yet to pay his or her school fees so here we want it to be unpaid we are going to repeat the same thing there unpaid so let's give it a different color let's give it a different color so let's try this one and see so let's click on ok then let's go back and search for student number two here number two and let's search for that student so please have you seen that this one is having some green background color so that is how you apply conditional formatting to the official fees payment receipt because we don't want this video to be long we would like to end it here and continue in lesson 56 so thank you very much for watching this video please make sure that you subscribe to the channel turn on the notification bell icon for all so that when we upload a new video in lesson 56 you'll be able to get that notification and watch that particular video so till our next lesson say thank you very much let's meet in that particular lesson bye bye